It's Arthur's Day. We're in Dublin. I want to say, first of all, a big welcome and a big hello to Tim Robbins. Hello there. Uh, Tim Robbins, first of all, a happy birthday for the 16th of October, which is on the way. That's right. And, and my birthday is the day after. That's right, it is. You see? I know that. You knew that, didn't you? Yeah, I did know that. Wow. Okay, um, my strangest experience as a student was sleeping in a house on the Yorma Road in Belfast. It was about midnight. You were uh, sleeping at midnight? Yes, I was sleeping at midnight. You were in a university? A college. You were in college, sleeping at midnight. Yes. What's wrong with you? I know. I had a big night sorted out for the next one, but so anyway. You were in training for the next night. Yes, I was keeping myself cleansed for I the see. next night. Oh, very good, very good. Right, so, um, and someone knocked on my door and says, uh, get over to the Hatfield, because the man from the Shawshank Redemption is playing the guitar over there. That's right. I remember that night. Who was that with? Or how did you end up in the Hatfield playing the guitar? Okay, um, a couple of guys I met up there uh, invited me up and said, do you want to come and sing a few songs? And I said, sure, yeah. What was the experience of, um, well, the student experience in Belfast like for you? The student experience in Belfast? Uh, I didn't really have much of a student. Well, that's it. That's the student, that's, that's the hub. No, I know that. That's a student bar. I sang some songs at the bar. I didn't have a student experience. All right, let's clear, you, let's clear what, that up. Wait a second, what are you implying? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go home with anybody that night. Hello, to, I need my lawyer in the room. Hello to Tim's wife, if she's listening. Hello, big fan of the show. I know that anyway. But... We, we know you from, from so many different things, right? Um, I was looking through your list today, which is brilliant. Top Gun. I forgot about that. Yeah. That must seem ages ago. They're remaking that now, weren't they? Are they? I think somebody's remaking that or talking about remaking it. Are you going to go in it? Mm, no, thanks. No, done with Top Gun. Done with the gun. <laughs> Anchorman. Yeah. Now, they're talking about doing an Anchorman 2. Would you be interested in a cameo on that? Uh, as long as I can kick ass. You did in the first one, didn't you? Yeah, I tore someone's arm off. That was the fight in the sort of with between all the news networks. Yes, that right. was PBS, the public station. What was it like to work with Will Ferrell and all them crazy yeah. nutcases? Yeah, great. He, he's uh, really clever. Really, really funny guy. He's always over in Ireland too. A bit like yourself. You're always over here, aren't you? I've been here quite a lot. Yeah. What is it? What keeps drawing you back to Ireland? The peat. The peat, as in what you dig from the bogs. <laughs> yeah. It's not, not the Guinness for today and Arthur's Day, no. Oh, I was supposed to say that, right? No, you can say whatever you like. I don't mind the Pete. Um, that's an interesting one. No one's ever said that in an interview before. Well, there you go. I'm a, I'm a, a trailblazer. <laughs> now, um, people might know about your musical background. Um, you can search on YouTube and there's many millions of clips of you singing. And as we already alluded to, you sang in the Hatfield. So you've got some sort of grounding in performing live music in Ireland. Right. Uh, tell me a bit about uh, Tim Robbins and the Rogue Gallery Band and what you're getting up to and how you got involved with Arthur's Day. Well, they uh, invited me um, to come play. I'm um, on tour right now, so it seemed like a, a good thing to do. And um, I love Dublin. I, I like a, a pint of Guinness from time to time, too. It's uh, almost a meal in itself, and uh, why not? That's what, I'm in that kind of phase of my life right now. Why not? You can sort of do what you want now, can't you? Uh, yeah, my, my youngest son just went into university, and um, I figured it was time to hit the road. Fair play. Now, did you film in Belfast recently? Were you filming City of Ember in Belfast, or were you doing it in, in other areas? No, it was in Belfast, yeah. It was a couple of years ago, yeah. Yeah, what was that experience like? Because I know there was a purpose-built set and everything, wasn't there? Yeah, it was in the same hangar they built the Titanic in, I think. Yeah. And how do you find working with the with the Irish people and the, the Belfast people? I actually really, really love Belfast. I thought it's uh, it's one of those great... Well, you know, it's it's, it's, it's from time to time you in this job of being an actor, you get put in places you, you wouldn't... They wouldn't be on your travel schedule, you know? And... Uh, I'm really happy I, I was up in Belfast because it was uh, uh, a, a great discovery of a place that is in a period of transition, you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, and it's kind of a miracle in a way because of what, it, if you go back 10 years, you know, yeah. what it was like. And so that kind of excitement of that, that uh, everyone has to have a certain positivity in order to survive yeah. and a certain forgiveness. And uh, in order to build towards the future, People have to forget the past. And I felt that way in uh, Johannesburg, in South Africa, too. Uh, you know, it's kind of this miracle of coexistence, and this, uh, it's tenuous. It's a uh, it's, uh, little uh, sketchy at times, but the fact that it's happening and that people are making an effort, it's pretty special. So, Tim, we're actually quite excited to be here because I think you're playing the limelight next week in Belfast, what would you say to anybody who's listening about the, the gig that's on the way? We want everybody that's listening right now 
to my voice to come Monday to this gig because I will personally make eye contact with everybody. <laughs> you will look at them for at least a split second. Uh, more than a split. I'll go for a double split or a triple split. Now, you do make sure you can carry through in these promises. Uh, and uh, actually, I might make some Google eyes at a couple people too. Well, you heard that here first. So Tim's going to be in Belfast next week. So listen, Tim, thank you so much for taking the time out. Enjoy your day today. Are you going to enjoy the, the whole Arthur's Day event like Arthur would have liked? I'm going to do the 20K swim down the river. That starts at midnight. I'll give you about that, right? Me, you, the water, two pairs of speedos, and everyone's happy. I'll see you there.